friends in this video we will be discussing the exercise 6c and previously i have discussed some word problems from this exercise and this exercise is based on addition and subtraction of decimal numbers so starting off with question number one so question number one says add 7.3 and 8.5 so what do we need to do here is 7.3 and 8.5 and make sure the decimal points of the following decimal numbers are in vertical position they are vertically aligned to each other so 5 plus 3 is 8 and 7 plus 8 is 15 so the answer would be children 15.8 similarly we have this question number one fifth part and in the fifth part we have children 9.56 and the other one is 11 so we will write 0 0 and the last number is 26.074 so here this is the number that we need to add so 0 0 4 6 plus 7 13 5 plus 1 6 point 9 plus 1 10 plus 16 1 2 3 4 this will be 46.634 similarly subtraction of the decimal numbers it is very easy children question number two subtraction subtract 8.23 from 9.57 so we need to subtract 8.23 from 9.57 so 9.57 8.23 okay 7 minus 3 4 5 minus 2 3 9 minus 8 1 so the answer is 1.34 another example that we can look into is the fifth part question 87.00392 from 305.48 so we need to subtract this from this so 305.48 upon 87.00392 and we need to adjust for the zeros now we will do the subtraction now from here this will become 7 this will be 9 9 this will be 10 so 10 minus 2 8 9 minus 9 0 9 minus 3 6 7 4 this will be 2 this will be 9 this will be 15 so this will be 8 9 minus 8 1 218.476608 what you need to make sure is the decimal numbers aligned with with each other in a vertical line now similarly we have question number 3 and question number 3 is simplify so in this question first part we have 8 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.78 minus 0 0.04 to solve this children first here we see this this is a negative sign this negative sign negative sign so we add all these three together first so 0 0.5 0 0.78 0 0.04 we add them first 8 plus 4 2 12 uh, 5 plus 1 6 13 so one carried over so we have 1.32 so this will be 8 minus 1.32 now we'll subtract with 8 so 8.00 1.32 so this will be children 7 this will be 9 this will be 10 so 8 6 6.68 will be your answer okay question number three let's look into the third part we have here 41.73 minus 8.74 minus 7.68 minus 13.06 so here children all these three are negative so we will add them together first so 
एट पॉइंट सेवन फोर सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री थर्टीन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स वी विल एड दम फर्स्ट थर्टीन दिस विल बी फोर्टीन नाइनटीन सो दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट फोर थ्री फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट फोर थ्री Now, we will subtract from forty one point seven three twenty nine point four three. Now, on subtraction, three minus three zero, seven minus four three. This will become three. This will be two. Three minus two one, and decimal will come here. So the answer is twelve point three zero children. Question number six. we have question number 6 we have at a swimming class rakhi spent 6.9 minutes practicing butterfly stroke 9.5 minutes practicing freestyle strokes and 4.8 minutes practicing back stroke and 0 0.6 minutes practicing floating rest of the time she practiced breast stroke If her swimming lesson is forty-five minutes long, how much time does she have left for practicing breaststroke? Okay, children. So, her total time, total time is forty-five minutes. Okay. Now. she spends 6.9 minutes practicing butterfly okay 6.9 butterfly then 9.5 minutes freestyle then 4.8 then you have 0.6 minutes in floating and rest of the time she practice breast stroke okay so we will add these three all four first so 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 5 is 20 plus 8 2 is carried over uh, 6 plus 4 10 19 2021 so 21.8 minutes is the total time of all these swimming practice she has done and this is for, for then the whole swimming period is for uh, 45 minutes how much time does she have left for practicing breast stroke so it will be 45 minus 21.8 will be the time she has left for practicing breast stroke so we will sub do the subtraction So forty five point zero twenty one point eight minus this will be four this will be one two four minus one three so this will be twenty three point two minutes children this will be your answer now question number seven a box of assorted biscuits weigh two point five kg so the box is completely filled with biscuits and weighs two point five kg. Its components are chocolate biscuits, five hundred twenty-five grams, children. It is five twenty-five grams. Almond biscuits, five eighty grams. Okay. Coconut biscuits, three fifty grams. And vanilla, five hundred fifteen grams. What is the weight of the empty box in kg? So we will find the first weight of the biscuits. So five plus five is ten. Zero one is carried over. Eight nine ten plus one eleven plus five will be sixteen plus one seventeen seven one find the five five two ten eleven. Uh, this will be nineteen. Okay, one nine seven zero grams. And now we will convert this in kg. So one nine seven zero divided by one thousand. So this will be children one point nine seven. kg is the weight of the biscuits now we need to weigh, find the weight of the empty box so it will be the filled box is of 2.5 kg biscuit is of 9.97 kg so empty box will be 2.5 minus 1.97 so 2.50 minus 1.97 so this will be 2.50 so the box weighs of 
0.53 kg. This will be your answer. We discussed question number 8 and 9 in the previous video. Now we will be doing the MCQ questions. Now, question number 10 says, there is A205 ml, A205 ml of juice in a can. 6.046 liter is distributed equally among the children attending a party. How much is still there in a can? So first we will convert this in liter. Divide this with 1000. So it will be 8.205 liters. Now the remaining would be 8.205 minus 6.046 is used and you will get your answer children. Please do the subtraction and find the answer. This is homework for you. Question 11. And you will do in the MCQ in your textbooks only. The normal body temperature of a human being is 98.6 Fahrenheit. Around the temperature rose by 3.7 degrees Celsius. How much temperature did he have? So his temperature is increasing. So 98.6 rows means increasing Fahrenheit plus 3.7 degree Fahrenheit. So we will do, do the addition and you will get the answer. These two questions you will be doing in your textbook only children. Thank you children. We will be discussing the multiplication of decimal numbers in the next video. Thank you class.